currently 7 a.m. and we're in the process of co-founding a new tech startup. So here is what a rather hectic day in the life of a new tech company co-founder looks like. For returning viewers, this is not the same tech startup that I've been working on before. I decided to switch focus because I got this opportunity to become a co-founder in this new tech company that we've been sort of secretly planning for like a month now. It's a new chapter in my software engineering career. So it's actually funny how this happened. My co-founder is actually one of my old friends from Finland, like from my high school days. I'll be mostly part-time, he's gonna be full-time and we're looking for one more co-founder at the moment. This was my old room that I lived in before I left London and I just came back here for a couple of weeks to clean up and stuff. So I'm like working remotely from here and now I'm gonna head to where we work. So I will catch you there. While I'm on the taxi, I like to start with some light work like making notes and planning my upcoming day. This time I was thinking about how we might be able to implement analytics to our app using data science. The problem I realized that we were going to run into, however, is that once we get a lot of users and a lot of data, our data sets would become massive, which are difficult to work with with normal text editors. And so once we get into that point, one excellent tool that we will definitely consider is Ultra Edit, who are also today's sponsor. Ultra Edit is a highly configurable text editing tool specifically designed for large files. It allows you to natively open, reformat and edit heavy files files that your regular ID might just not be able to handle. Ultra Edit doesn't really replace an ID, it's just an extra tool to allow you to do the things that you cannot do with a normal IDE. Ultra Edit has a wealth of features from color mode, live preview, XML manager, etc. all in their native app. And on top of all this, Ultra Edit also comes with world-class support to support you as their user. It's basically like the Swiss army knife of code editors, so it's no wonder that it keeps winning awards every single year. So if Ultra Edit sounds like the right tool for you, you can check it out from the link down below. Thank Thank you for Ultra Edit for sponsoring this video, but I think now my taxi ride is over, so let's get back into my day. Have a good day. Okay, so the way we're working right now with my co-founder, he's currently in Finland, whereas I'm here in London for like a couple So my co-founder is currently in Finland, whereas I'm here in London for a couple of days. When we're working remotely, the way we work is that we're essentially just on a Zoom call at all times. And whenever we then go to work on different things, we just like mute each other. And whenever there's an update, we update each other, things like this. The only worry we had is that something like this couldn't work because I'm also going to be remotely for most of this when I go back to Dubai. But it's been working pretty well so far, touch wood. Um, for the next month or so, like a month and a half, I will actually be in person in Finland. So there's going to be vlogs from there and stuff as well coming up. Um, but yeah, it's just really exciting to be working on a project with a different person rather than just my solo project. And this is definitely the sort of direction I want to go with all of my projects going forward. Um, so yeah, I think my co-founder just texted me that he's back. So I'm going to go back to the call. Go have lunch. Not so 
especially that you're supposed to have other files in the background. I mean, it's extra steps, extra files. She loves Chrome extensions. <laughs> it's too complicated. <laughs> Pratt is literally the only thing I miss about London. <laughs> really? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> doing his best. It was made in London decided to start pouring on us. Lovely. It's gonna Lovely. break my camera and then I can't upload this vlog. <laughs> God damn it. Terrible huh? weather. Terrible. London. I do still like the city of London. The thing about the city is that I only like it in the summer. So my plan is pretty much living in Dubai over the winters when basically everywhere in Europe just sucks. And then for the summers, I can still enjoy European summer, like for example here in London or Paris or things like that. Uh, so yeah, it's nice to be back in London for a while. Before I see you Not next, so you're, go you're gonna be dead. You're gonna be dead driving around this freaking city. Or so many people tell me you cycle in London. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. What else do you want me to do? <laughs> like crazy pay person. freaking five pounds to do two stops of subway or something? No. Yeah. Well, actually, now the traffic for cycles yeah. is bigger than the traffic for cars. So you gotta are wait. They actually, are the cycle lanes here actually good? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I think so. I mean, I come from a country where cycles have no place whatsoever. Right. So here, it's a bit, at least the lanes are larger. Mm. The cars don't go too crazy. Mm. In Paris, I would get run over about in like 10 minutes. Whereas here, so far so good. It's a smart choice, smart choice. Smart. Bye-bye.